Weather from where you live. Well, this purple area, that's a winter weather advisory for parts of Ohio, Kentucky, Southeast Indiana. It's a sign of things to come. We've got a system taking shape that'll bring some snow in here uh, by tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. This is a strong cold front. There is a chunk of cold air bleeding in that will knock the bottom out from us, uh, bottom out from underneath us in terms of the temperature. And you can see where we are down here in the front is slowly closing in on us with that band of snow. Meanwhile, we got this little upper level disturbance down here in Oklahoma and the two will kind of combine. The front will be sagging in like this. The disturbance will be coming up from the southwest and will form a new low, a new surface low in Ohio. That'll spread a pretty widespread area of snow across our viewing area and also bring a lot of wind as we get into tomorrow night and a lot of cold weather. So it's going to feel pretty nasty and pretty nasty travel expected for tomorrow night and early Saturday morning. In the meantime, as we get into the day tomorrow, the morning will be fine. Upper 20s, winds out of the southwest. At noon, the winds crank up a little bit. It'll be overcast, 37. Uh, based on the new data tonight, it looks like uh, we may have some patchy light snow that may start out as a little rain mixed in. That may start to break out a little bit as early as 1 p.m. But as we get into the day, snow will in uh, tend to increase somewhat. It'll be down to freezing with winds turning the west-northwest at 4. And those are 20, uh, 20 miles per hour. And of course, you see the snow graphic here as we kind of evaporatively cool. We're going to drop from 37 to 32 degrees. So we may get a little patchy snow by one, but the bulk of the snow is going to be late afternoon into the evening. And most of that will end by 10 p.m. But after that, there still may be some at least scattered lake effect snow showers in the viewing area that may add a little bit more uh, accumulation. Some of those may linger in at least part of Saturday. Windy, much colder wind chills to minus 10 Saturday morning and Sunday morning before we get a system with rain and snow early next week. Highs tomorrow 35 to 40. Those highs will occur uh, late morning to early afternoon, then fall as some of that snow starts to overspread the area. We go cloudy and here comes some of the snow with the front and with that system and a new system forming in parts of Ohio. So widespread snow as we get into tomorrow evening before the main snow pulls away. But notice the lake effect here. Some scattered lake effect snow showers overnight tomorrow night and then early Saturday morning. I've up the totals a little bit too. One to two inches area wide where we get some lake enhancement where I've drawn an arrow here trying to show this. This is northeast Newton and far northern Jasper County. We may get a two to three inch snow up here, but for the most part, one to two blowing and drifting because winds may still gust to 35 miles an hour as we get into tomorrow night and early Saturday morning. But notice the high Saturday 22 down to eight Saturday night with the snow cover 33 Sunday, but then we're back to the 40s next week with some rain ending as some snow and there could be some minor accumulation next week with the snow as well. So uh, eight degrees with a stiff wind early Saturday morning and even uh, or Sunday morning, even Saturday morning, still rough, low wind chills. So break out that big winter coat because you're you going to need it. All you right, bet. thanks, Chad. You also.